In 1950, Larsson Sweden delivered its first products to their home market. In 1992, they delivered a complete starch factory to Thailand and developed a strong presence in Asia. Welcome to Paraguay. It was here that Larsson Sweden designed, developed and commissioned its first complete starch manufacturing plant in South America, Codipsa 4. Codipsa 4 has been built using only European technology and has a production capacity of 100 tons of starch a day, having the capability to double that capacity if required in the future. Why Codipsa had to look for world-class technologies abroad? Because Codipsa realized that the company has to be a first-class world player in order to be able to compete globally. We must produce the same quality of tapioca starch as other top producers in the world. But at the same time, we must be competitive. And to be able to offer that, top quality starch at competitive prices, we realized that a good production plant is a basic requirement. It's the only way to be competitive at a global level. We decided to go to Asia to see a Larsen plant in action for ourselves. And we saw that it works perfectly well. We saw all the advantages that a Larsen plant offers when compared to other technologies, local or conventional technologies. At this stage, we made our decision. After having three plants using local or conventional technology, we opted for European technology. Our team analyzed a number of different producers of machinery and equipment for the production of starch. And Larsen was chosen because they are the ones who best understand the entire process of producing tapioca starch. Today we have a Larsen plant. With that comes a lot of hope and high expectations that with this technology we can be truly competitive in respect of quality and price at a global level. Throughout the process, Larsen's designers and engineers worked in collaboration with Codipsa's technicians in order to find a sustainable solution always keeping in mind local concerns. The main objectives were to improve the plant's capacity, the yield generated and the quality of the starch, whilst of course reducing water wastage and energy consumption. Working with Larsum was a very exciting time. We started at the 5th of June in 2011 with the construction and then the delivering of containers with all the machines from Sweden. Uh, all the installation, we had uh, a lot of visits from Larsen Engineering and uh, it was very good working together with them and had uh, a successful time to, to put end of the installation and have a good value in, in the process. Yeah. Larsen drew upon its decades of experience in Europe and in Asia to design the layout and manufacturing drawings for Codipsa 4. Larsen supplied all the hardware for the wet milling, all the software which controls the entire system, as well as key components for the dryer. For the remaining parts of the plant, they either advised on the purchase or designed the parts and had it manufactured by local workshops. The entire process, from concept to commissioning, took only 12 months. The result? is a fully automated, state-of-the-art tapioca starch plant. Larsen's automated system not only ensures a consistently high-quality product with moisture content at 12-13%, but also helps reduce labor force. Despite its capacity of 100 tons of starch a day, Codipsa 4, for example, requires only two operators to run the system. With Larsen's technology and expertise, Codipsa 4 is expected to obtain a yield of anything between 93 and 95 percent. That's very pleasing if compared to other production plants averaging 85 percent. Here are some other factors that give Larsen a competitive advantage over other available technologies. 
By using state-of-the-art technology and an automated wet milling area, Larsen manages to half the water consumption compared to other systems. Inspecting hydrocyclones can be a daunting task, with most equipment available on the market today. It usually takes six to eight hours. With hydrocyclones designed by Larsen, on the other hand, inspecting is very simple and will take only a few minutes. Larsen incorporates in its system sand separation equipment, which should be cleared by an operator every 8 to 12 hours, improving the quality of the product by reducing ash content and black spots. Larsen centrifugal sieves are probably their flagship product, invented by the company's founder in the 50s and continually developed over the years. Today, it's operational in over 50 countries around the world. Larsen centrifugal sieves are used for different applications, from starch extraction, from rust potatoes and tapioca, to the fruit juice industry. But in this case, at Codipsa 4, the perforated stainless steel sheets are used for starch extraction and fine screening, requiring zero maintenance and a guaranteed longevity. In order to meet today's high hygienic standards, Larsen designed a rotary vacuum filter to dewater starch slurry. The filter is able to eliminate the liquid at an early stage, giving the benefit of longer dewatering time. That is significantly more than comparable machines available in the market today. On top of that, the filter is fitted with an automated downwashing system. At Codipsa 4, the starch is cooled after drying and before the buffer tank reducing the risk of condensation and bacteria development. Here in Paraguay, the fibers extracted from the processed are used for cattle feed. However, in other countries, fibers are already used in other food industries. It's expected that the same will happen in Paraguay in the near future, and Larsen hopes to be able to add value by implementing one of its latest developments, a pulp press that begins the dewatering process of the fibers before drying even starts. At Cadipsa 4, we hope, apart from many other benefits, that we will have a much lower environmental impact and that our costs will be greatly reduced because with Larsen's technology, we will use less water in the entire process. I'm talking about reducing the water consumption by about 50%. We're also going to reduce the plant's downtime, the time used for cleaning the plant. This way we are able to increase the production time, decreasing overall costs. We expect to obtain an end product of much superior quality, but not only, also a product that consistently meets higher physiochemical parameters and higher microbiological standards. We realized that Larsen understands how to process tapioca properly. Because of their deep knowledge of the products, in this case, the properties of tapioca, it is this knowledge that allows them to manage the starch production process so efficiently Many of our clients in important markets such as Mexico, US, Europe and some African countries as well as Chile often ask us as one of the first questions, what starch manufacturing technology do you use? And they become increasingly confident in our product when we say that we are improving, that we have started with local technology, which has its advantages in some markets but that now we have introduced state-of-the-art European technology such as Larsen's. Today, Larsen's technology is at the very top of the world's best technologies on offer for the processing of tapioca for starch manufacturing.